Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack crack and addiction. We are back with Iconic Masters. We have not done Iconic Masters for a while. It's been a minute, um, but I'm super excited to do it again. This is uh, lots of good stuff in here, but it is a big chase for the Mana Drain. That is the absolute monster hit out of this. I mean, that thing is approaching $160, I think, right now. I think it's absolutely monstrous in these packs just strewn about. Uh, let's check the old computer here, see see what else is on the list, see if there's any uncommons. Yeah, you got Thran, Dynamo, Mishra's Bauble, Windfall, Sanguine Blood, or Bond. There's a number of things, so lots of good stuff. Sorry for leaning over the camera um, that we'll be looking for here. So <clears throat> we'll see if we can hit them. And we wish ourselves the best of luck, but more importantly, we wish our sponsor of this box, James, James K, who has uh, decided to go for it here. He wants Iconic Masters, and we're going to give it to him. So good luck, and thank you to James, James K, for sponsoring this box. I hope it's a monster of a box. I hope we start right away with uh, a Mana Drain. Don't even mess around with it. Rose, and the Restoration Angel. That's a cool one. Definitely not bad. I'm so used to double masters. You get all the uh, all the doublies. Not in these. You do get 24 packs though, and 24 chances at amazing hits. Overgrown battlement. Oh, it's not that's mummy a nice yet. hit. It's a spicy. Oh, meatball. I thought it was a thought it was our mana drain, but it is darn good. It is the cryptic command. That is one of the monster hits out of this. Especially out of the rare slot. I think it's around 20 bucks uh, for just a regular rare, so that's fantastic. Um, you also do get a foil in each pack, so there's always a chance at a big foil, rare, or mythic. So definitely need to look out for that. But we are on pack number three. And uh, off to a pretty good start. And oh, Kaiga, the Tide Star. The Spirit Dragons are in the rare slot out of this set. And a nice foil, the Genesis Wave. Really fun card. That is a card I have used um, from time to time. It's <laughs> If you get the mana going, that thing can be pretty incredible. It works really well with Nyssa, who shakes the world. Doubling up on your mono green and getting your forest to just really start pumping some stuff out. Mind Stone. Uh, we'll put the Mind Stone in there. Those are just solid commons, even. Honestly. Come on, baby. Be there. Ooh. Yoshi, the Morning Star. And Rakdos Strike. Well, let's go for this pack. This one looks like a good one. Looks like it might be something monstrous. Might be an Abyssin in here. Feels like it. Now that did come down in price because of the reprint, but it's still over 30 bucks, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Bogart and Hellkite. Anything in the foil rare slot or foil slot? It's a common. It's a stampede. But hopefully the day is treating you well here, folks. And uh, if it's not, I hope it gets a little bit better. Spending a little time with Brett and I here at Good old booster therapy. Ooh, monastery swift spear. And oh, it's Malfagor. A dumpy demon dragon. And a benevolent ancestor. Alright, we are still looking and chasing for our first mythic, which can be good and bad. That means the mana drain is still very much alive. Oh man, I want to hit it. I've got a pretty good rate on those. Nice. Wish was Bobble. Sword to Plowshares. Noxious Dragon. Oh, that's a good mythic. Mama Great mia, first that's mythic a to spicy hit there. Shieldred Whispering One. That is sitting in the low 20s, I think, right now. That is a fantastic hit. Put you right there. Beautiful. That's our first mythic, and I'm not displeased with the Shieldred. That will probably creep back up in price once again, because it is 
Just so good. Just a really, really good card. And Grove of the Burn Willows. This one used to be quite a bit more expensive, but it really dropped off. But I still think it's a really good card. But Horizon Canopy, where did that end up? Did that go back up to the upper upper 20, maybe $30 range? That was so expensive at one point. I think that's the better of the two of those that you want to hit. I will do my best to hit it. Anger of the Gods. And a mnemonic wall. Just a pretty little wall there. All right, come on, James. Let's find another mythic. Let's have it be a big bomb of a mythic. I wouldn't mind a a uh, consecrated sphinx. That is an incredible card. Lightning helix is good. Ooh, Mama that's the other one. I was thinking spicy of meatball. Nice hit. This thing has really gone up. It's around thirty bucks. I want to say. Ooh. <laughs> That is a good hit. Well, you are two for two on Mythics. Those are very, very nice. Definitely not dud Mythics, and knock on wood, there are some dud Mythics in this set, so you definitely want to dodge those. Zorius Charm, that's a good card. Pyromancer, into, yes, Oriok Champion, that's another good one. And a Foil Mind Stone. Yeah, the champion is, um, at least last I checked, I haven't looked recently, but that's a pretty solid card. The Doomed Traveler. Heat Ray. It's a Heat Ray. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, excuse your soul? What is happening here? <laughs> what a weird duplication. That is unusual. I don't know that I've seen that, especially in a master set. Back to back, exact same rare. Well, if this does it again, I don't even know what's going on. Blade Wing. No, it's the Genesis Hydra. And Angel of Mercy. Yeah, that was very strange. The Oriac Champion back to back packs. So strange. All right, anything in here? Nope. Let's straighten these babies out. We got Reeve Soul, Blade Wing. Our pile on the side is getting tippy. And another Genesis Wave. This one is a regular. Oh! <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a spicy that meatball. That is a nice hit. That is a spicy meatball. That is a foil, Iconic Master's Thoughtseize. Beautiful hit. That is the type of foil rare that you want to hit. That is amazing. Nicely done. Wow. That's a fairly monster hit in the foil rare slot. Can't ask for much more than that. Oh, Star Compass is decent. Angel of Mercy. Come on, baby. Oh, Ancestral Vision. Every time I see blue in that slot, I get my hopes up. Disenchant. Uh, we're getting down there. Only about six, seven-ish packs left, so only at two Mythics, so we're due, hopefully, at least for one more. Another Lightning Helix. Condescend, and Day of the Dragons. Big old dumpy Day of the Dragons. It's more fun than good. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Let's find that mythic right here. Big one. All right, Path of Bravery. It's a regular rare and a foil, Evolving Wilds. We're saving that bottom right of the box for the end. It's usually where they hide the good stuff. The very bottom. Benevolent Ancestor once again. Ooh, nice. Sanguine Bond. Corpse Jack Menace. I'm going to do a little peek this time. It's a rare. 
It's an Ameria Angel. Definitely uh, not a bad card, but again, not super high value. We got a couple of uh, really solid mythics there, but I really want the big one. I want the Mana Drain. Show me the Mana Drain. Nice, another Sanguine Bond. Oh, the wrong Sphinx. Sphinx of Utun. And the Doorkeeper. Come on, James. This is Iconic Masters here. It's got to be Iconic. It's not Iconic unless we hit the Mana Drain. Be there one time. Come on. Another Star Compass. Zorius Charm. Ooh, Monastery Swift Spear. And a Blood Ghast. Nice hit. Very good rare. It's around 10 bucks, I think. And Wall of Roots is also a super useful card. I don't know if it has any monetary value, but it is very, very useful. Very, very good. All these little cheap rampy cards. Thran Dynamo. And Knight of Souls Betrayal. And a troll. Just a little troller. We got three packs left for you, Mr. James. Still only two mythics. Come on, don't you dare give us a stinking two mythic box. Don't do it. Don't you do it to me. Don't you do it to James. Doomblade, Aether Eyes. And there's an Archangel of Thune for our third mythic. Another solid one. I think it's in the upper teens. So it's pretty good. It's definitely not a whiff, but it's no monster of a hit. All right, we got two packs left. Come on, give us the mana drain. Otherwise, I would take a Horizon Canopy, Aether Vial, um, either one of those if it's going to be a rare. would be good. We have not seen either of those. We'll do a quick one here. Oh, Serum Powder. A little bit different here in the uh, new mulligan rules. All right, you're on your last pack, James. Good luck. Thank you once again for uh, a generous sponsoring of Iconic Masters. It's a super fun set to go back to. This is one of my favorite sets to open. Come on. Ooh, Windfall. That's a good one. Dragon Tempest. Let's do a little peek. It's a rare. It's going to be the Simic Sky Swallower. And anything in the clothes? A Johnny's Pride Mate. Good card, but not worth anything. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what the total is. There's a lot of solid uh, kind of mid-level rares in this set that really can add up quickly. So I do not know what the total is, but you'll know in the bottom left and bottom right of this uh, video. You'll be able to see what it is. We've got a lot more to come. Um, thank you again to James. Thank you to all of our patrons who you're going to see here at the end of the screen. Uh, if you haven't already, give a like and a subscribe on the way out. This has been Patrick with Booster Therapy. You all have a fantastic rest of your day.